Here we are at the northern edge exit or entrance from the Veterans Town Forest of Hanson. And we're on Route 1458 Junction. You can see a white blaze over on this power pole. But the sun doesn't obscure it too much. And heading towards Duxbury, the trailhead goes through this tangle of stuff. You run into an old closed gate and then there's a little edging bypass and then ta-da the Bay Circuit Confidence logo lets you know you're here. And so You run into this seemingly strange little gate and then it beckons. And this particular part of the trail is essentially like a U. The trail descriptions describe it as a loop, but the last sentence of the paragraph says that you come from a different place than you started. And this is sort of overgrown, not readily evident, but that's okay. I don't know why they decided to make the thing come here when you have an even broader access way over here. It's probably some Byzantine small town politics mystery that shall forever elude us all and for good reason. And now we're going through the melting frost, dew-spangled meadow glen, working our way to the spot where it diverges. This is a relatively short and sweet section of Woodland Trail, but it's another one where there's zero information of any kind, and it's a forlorn little place. It has a lot of beauty and a lot of good qualities, but no one seems to care about it. So the degree of vandal destruction of blazes and the other nonsense we often run into down here in Cranberry Land isn't quite as prevalent for some reason. It's got great little amenities, a bird nesting box program appears to be going on. You can see the little box over there. And we got the cool bench. The trail will now head this way. This is probably the old forest access road. And the, the trail will recross this forest access road. It's going to bring us down to Wampatuck Pond. And down we go. There tends to be a planner logic in these things, so 
part of the way that we figured out this one was looking for evidence of the trail along the edge of this public school athletic field. Massachusetts public schools often have woodland buffers along their property and they're usually amenable to allowing some kind of trail access. We came from this direction and we're heading in this direction, back to the parking lot via a funny extended V loop. Here's your critical turn along the edge of the athletic field. This trail heads north-ish and eventually resolves into someone's backyard, which just won't do. And the Bay Circuit runs this way. No blazing from this direction, but you find another damaged plastic blaze along here. 